Hello everyone, I'm Russ Frustic and I'm joined by Chris Plant. Hey Chris Plant. What up? We are going to play what I sh I uh, this is the follow-up to FTL. I realize it might not look like the most thrilling game at the outset, but trust me, I am super super pumped about this game and I'm hopefully going to convey to you, Chris Plant, well, you already know, but to the audience, why I'm so <laughs> super psyched about this game. Uh, and I'm going to start a new game, and we're going to try to work quickly. Um, uh, I'm going to skip past a lot of the reading, but suffice it to say, humanity's not doing so hot. Uh, aliens doing doing some damage and stuff like that. So so bad. Bad news on that front. Um, this is a squad-based combat game, and I'm just going to jump in because it'll be easier. I'm going to stay on easy difficulty just so we can show as much as possible, as quickly as possible. And... I realize this is a lot of overwhelming stuff, so I'm just going to jump in and, and uh, try to explain what's going on here. For people that dig FTL, which obviously a lot of people dug that, uh, and also for people that dig games like um, Fire Emblem, I'm a huge, huge Fire Emblem people as, uh, fan, as people might know. This is an awesome game for that. So the idea is you've got three squad members. Um, I've got this dude, this mech dude. He's like a walker mech. I've got a tank, and I've got like an uh, artillery guy. And the idea is to defeat these aliens before they can destroy these buildings on each of the maps. The maps are somewhat randomized. The aliens are somewhat randomized. Um, and it's about, you know, turn-based combat, trying to use your abilities to your advantage. Now, sounds like basically every other turn-based strategy game ever. Um, I think the big difference here is positioning and like location of the map is hugely, hugely important. And I'm gonna try to show some of that off. So I'm gonna take my mech here. You could, there's a movement phase. You just like pick where you wanna move them. If you've ever played, um, if you've ever played like XCOM or anything like that, pretty standard. And now this mech dude, he has a melee attack. And you can see here, this red arrow indicates where this alien is going to attack on the next uh, round. He's going to attack these buildings. Chris Plant, he's going to attack these buildings. Are you worried we for them? we got precogs. Yeah, we've got precogs. The Starship Troopers, but now you got precogs. Exactly. Or, I don't know, Pacific Rim, but precogs. Yes, and we know exactly where they're going to attack on the next turn. So I'm going to take this dude with his super awesome punch and use his punch on this guy. It's going to knock him off back, base. Now, you can see this alien is going to attack this turn next, but it doesn't matter. No one lives there. It's like Iowa. No one lives there. It's empty. Wow. So, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, now, we've got this guy. He's attacking there. That doesn't really affect us. That's no big deal. But I'm worried because he might move to another building later. So let's see if we can do some damage on him before that happens. I'm going to move my tank here. Wait, into the... Okay. Shut up. Ooh, that was close. Shut I was up. worried you were moving right into the line of sight. No, I know what I'm doing. So I attacked him and I pushed him back with my tank and now I'm going to use my artillery to finish him off. So he's toast and I got a little experience from my artillery dude. End turn. Ran out of turns. So now it's enemy turn. So you can see um, the enemy is going to attack there. Oh, we missed everything. Iowa. And I also blocked um, another enemy from spawning in. You can see them kind of spawning in there uh, from the ground. But if you move, will they spawn in? Um, if you move on the following turn, they will spawn in. The big downside for standing on a spot that an en enemy is coming in, you can see he took damage. You take one set of damage oh. for doing that. Um, let's see if I can show some other stuff off. So this guy is going to attack this coal plant. In this map in particular, protect the coal plant. Clean coal is back, baby. <laughs> and we wow. need to protect it. <laughs> I'm getting really political here. Uh, we need to protect it. So uh, let's make sure this guy dies. Um, Ordinarily, I would push him one over, but if I pushed him one over, he'd attack these buildings. And that's bad. So I'm going to move my tank dude down here and attack him there. Now, uh, that guy's toast, which is great. Unfortunately, this guy is a firefly, and he can attack at long range. You can see his dotted line there is going to attack this building here. The buildings re are basically represented by this power grid up here. This is your health. If your health goes all the way down, you lose. Game over. Toast. So let's make sure we protect this building here. And by doing that, I'm going to use this fist attack to knock them into the water. They don't like water. Remember that movie by M. Night Shyamalan where they didn't like water? Same thing here. Six cents. Yes, the six cents where they hated water. I'm going to move my artillery guy to block another alien from spawning in. And actually, I think I can also... Yeah, I'm going to 
Oh, can you not do that? I've never actually tried to do this. Can you repair other people? I think you might only be able to repair yourself. Repair one damage, yeah, okay. So I can't do anything with that guy, so I'm just gonna chill there. Mm. And you can see on this map, um, this a wave is pushing in. This is specific to this map. Uh, a lot of the maps have different variables and stuff like that um, to factor in when you're fighting. Now we got a bit of a sticky wicket here. What is what is on you? Is this that is, a blanket? This is bad. No, no, it's webs. This guy has shot oh, webs I upon thought he me. Was like he saw that you were feeling a little chill, so he no. wanted to keep you warm. That's very. That would be very sweet of Mr. Bugman there, but no, he 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 wants to destroy me. Um, I need to survive one more turn before I win. Unfortunately, we're in we're in a bad way here. Now, what I would do is I'd punch this guy, but he has three health, and I can only do two health, a uh, two damage yeah. with a punch. I could try to do an artillery attack. But with artillery, that pushes people backwards. And so I'll actually kill both of my guys by doing that. You can see uh -huh. it's sort of represented on the screen. Uh, they take two damage, and that would be enough of them. So the better move... I don't know, man. This is a bad bad way. And you can start, uh, sort of start to tell the similarities with FTL where you're making these tough decisions. Wait, wait. I, I, I've, got, I've got the call. Ready? Okay, got the call. Do move it. artillery behind... Yeah. See the green forest behind the building. This guy there okay move that there yeah move your your you can fire now if you want but hit the hit the bug see the flying with bug? who artillery with artillery okay yeah oh will that, okay will that hit the buildings no that won't hit the buildings it's fine okay, so hit the bug oh mm, didn't see that one coming yeah no you didn't uh, it's fine though because you can actually i forgot that you could do this but so you saved us in, with your ignorance you exactly, can actually no, that was what i was planning <laughs> You can survive much like Pacific Rim in water. You just can't attack when you're in water. So I'm just going to like move my dude back there. Um, uh -huh. And actually, oh, I can't, I guess I can't repair either. But just for kicks, we're going to get a little bonus experience with my tank and get that kill there. Get oh, it. wait. No, I think we're okay. Unless this wave kills us. As Let's see what happens. No, it's fine. Yay. Mm -hmm. We did Good it. Good job. Thank you. Um, Proud of you. I fully acknowledge that there's a lot to take in. There's all sorts of things appearing right now. Um, but I'm just trying to try to like ease you into it. Uh, we don't have a ton of time. So so here's like, you earn civilians. The civilians equal reputation points, which get spent at the end of an island, which is like a set of maps. Um, and you can also earn experience. And I'll try to show that off in a second. Let's so see. what's like the really long game of this? Because obviously FTL, you gradually built your ship. Yeah. And there was kind of different paths you could take. Is there something like that? that yeah, yeah, yeah. Of? So um, at the very beginning of the stream, you might have seen the, I guess it's not a stream. This is a unlive stream. You might have seen <laughs> there was multiple countries. So uh -huh. this is the very first country that we're starting at. The end result, the end goal is to move through all the countries and survive using your crew. Now the crew is super important. You can see like they level up, um, they earn perks. Some of these perks are unlocked. You can earn these things called reactor whatevers. They're like energy core, reactor cores. And you can then install them in various things to give you more abilities. So if I had a reactor thing, I could uh, increase my movement speed, my movement distance or total health or give myself new abilities, stuff like that. Um, what's really cool and something that I know a lot of people got frustrated with, I'm just going to start a new map and, and talk through this. What's really cool is that in FTL, oftentimes people would just constantly restart. They had one thing go wrong and they would just restart. Um, one of the elements in this is that you can carry forward one of your soldiers to future playthroughs, maintaining his skill set. Um, so he, oh, okay. And I'll try to show off this pod really quick too. So he will, he will um, still have his abilities still have his skills that he unlocked so you're even though you are starting from scratch somewhat you do start with a little bit of an edge kind of a rogue legacy type of thing yeah a similar but really not to that extreme because you're only ever picking one guy and you can easily let that guy go and pick another guy if you feel like the other guy is better yeah um so i'm gonna try to protect this building here okay. um the goal is to protect these tanks which is going to be pretty tricky but i'm going to try um, Ooh, that's gonna knock that tank in the water. It is. So I'm going to. Oh, I just screwed that up. So you can undo yeah. moves, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna move this here, and I'm gonna push this guy nice. over. Um, and I think that's all we can really do right now. It's telling me I can attack, but I don't want to attack yet. Um, 
You know what it reminds me of, even what, though I don't that? like these things, but the, I do seem to enjoy this game despite <laughs> it. You know those uh, shuffle puzzles? Like Sokoban? Is that where it's like... The box where the guy pushes the box around. No, the, where it's... It, I, it was like a toy that you would get as like a bad Happy Meal toy. Oh, there yeah. Are, there are nine slots, but you have eight pieces in it, and you shuffle the I tiles around. I hated those. This is yeah, nothing like those. that. <laughs> but no, but the, it reminds me of it. In that, like, it does feel like moving tiles and using placement to organize things. Yeah, I get it. They're very different. Yeah, the tile movement stuff is is interesting. Um, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes did a ton of this, and I really liked it because of that. Um, right now, I'm trying to push this. Uh, there's no really good way to do this. I'm just for argument's sake. This is a bad move, but I'm going to push this guy over and then use my thing. So I blew up a building in, in the spirit of doing that. Wow. I want to try to get to the end of this so I can save that uh, little thing. Um, this this maps objectives. Oh dear, we have a new enemy type. So this guy's yeah, like a on. this guy's like a he gives buffs to various uh, enemies. So we want to take him out first. Um, but it becomes very tricky because now we have all sorts of things going wrong. But the tanks are also ready to go. They can fly above water. Yeah, wow. they can fly. So the tanks, but the tanks are active now, so they can now move, or would be able to move if they weren't. Um, yeah, and the surrounded by weird. enemies. <laughs> Uh, so that's bad. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. I'm going to try to push this guy. So the tank is now free. Nice. And I'm going to use punchies to kill that guy. Doing it. Uh, this is going to be really bad. Um, Punch. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I? Pod secure. I, w I really just want to get to the end of this map to show the pod. I'm going to fail a bunch on this map. Um, because I'm rushing and wanting to show as much as possible. This is kind of cool. You can push guys into mountains and they take extra damage. Uh, right now, this tank is going to take damage and, and die. Uh, oh, but we have some actions available. Who has, still hasn't? So I could as the tank, uh. but he's still trapped and he's still going to take damage the next turn. So it doesn't really matter. So this might be a good time to explain the power grid. Yeah, I mean, the power grid is just your health, essentially. The power grid is represented by these buildings. And if the buildings get hurt, you lose... Uh, Power grid points. In similar to FTL, it carries over to yeah. future rounds. Exactly. So we lost that tank. We lost the objective. I'll, I'll end up saving more uh, fewer rep points because of that. But I think we can make it to the end of this. Uh, if they're still... Let's see. Mm, that's yeah, not... it's, it's bad. But I, it's only one turn, so I think we can do it. So we're going to kill him. Uh, we're going to push... No, see... I want nah, see? Yeah, this is tough. So I want to push this guy away because I'm not going to be able to kill him. But I don't really have the ability to do that without hurting this building, which I really don't want to do. Although I might just have to and for the sake of expeditiousness. I'm just going to push him away. So Wait, why didn't you just hit him? Because then he would have taken damage. No, he only, he, only took damage. he only takes one health uh, off of the artillery shot. So it wouldn't have killed him. He still would have attacked the, the building. Would, the, um, would his attack been more damaging to the building than you bombing the no, building? No, it would have been the same. Six and one half. So why didn't you do the one that caused him damage? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just rushing. <laughs> I wanted to show you the end of... Okay, so we beat it. Uh, maybe. There might be a guy that dies in this. He, he'll probably die. And I... Oh, no. He's still alive. Okay. That was a terrible, terrible map. But I wanted to show you the capsule that we rescued, if you remember. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh so we protected the time pod. We're going to open the door. And we got um, a new uh, weapon, which is pretty cool for our, our dude, and a new reactor core. So we can pop into, uh, where was that new weapon? Uh, I thought it was uh, new weapon powered up. No, that wasn't it. Um, I'm not sure where that weapon went. Anyway. Uh, we, we got a core. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. So we can drop that in there, but we don't have enough cores to really power it now. So again, the idea is you're constantly evolving these characters and making them more and more powerful. Um, if we were to die, or I'm going to simulate by doing abandoned timeline, 
uh, you can go ahead and pick any of these guys and you can see, okay, this guy has a little bit, has a special, so let's uh, make sure he lasts. So now he'll carry over the next playthrough that we do. So again, there is some carryover. Another thing that's similar to FTL, if I go to new game and go to, uh, they just changed the UI, change squad. So there's multiple squads you can unlock and each of the squads plays completely differently. So um, I've unlocked the second squad and this squad, the first squad is kind of a mix of like positioning and damage. This is almost all positioning. So this judo guy, I'll try to show it off, can like flip enemies over their head. Um, the other guys either pull or push people uh, in the direction of one another. Oh my gosh. So it gets really super complicated and interesting as you play more. Um, the number of options that there are to sort of customize your playthroughs. Um, now, I feel like I remember reading something when I started playing this game that you aren't expected to beat every city. Like, you can live and a city can fall. Yeah, so the, as you play more, eventually the, like, main boss of the island will show up. And then at that point, um, yeah, you basically have to just fight the main boss and, and move on. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you can live... And have a city fall it's also like decent strategy to um sometimes no let buildings die yeah no one to walk yeah. away um so um this guy i'm gonna just show off his ability here see he flips someone over so that could be useful you could like drop an enemy on another enemy this guy uh, fires this like gravity well bomb that pulls people towards him uh and this guy let's see if i are there oh, any I, damage dealers well um so the idea with these guys is that they actually do more damage if you knock people into one another. They do like bonus yeah. damage. So that's okay. it's all about positioning with these guys. And I have not learned how to play them at all. Um, this guy, I'm just going to like... This guy does do damage, but I can't attack. Right? Actually, sure. let's do that. So I'm going to push my friend into him. And Great. we did a little bonus damage. We took damage, but whatever. Um, that's like a whirlwind tour of this game. I can't show a lot more. Unfortunately, just by nature of it being early and they don't want us to show more than this. But hopefully this kind of got people excited. There's like so much to show and talk about. And it's very difficult to sort of summarize exactly what's going on. But I don't know. Did that make sense to you, Chris Plant? Yeah, I mean, I followed it. I've also played the game a little bit. But I think you did a pretty good job. Because it's, it's so overwhelming. these games are not always the easiest to explain. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, what I also like about it is, I'm well. I, have you gotten into much of the story? Uh, not really. I haven't really been paying attention. I'm gonna do this I, awesome I like move. One second, awesome move. Aesthetic. Boom! Oh my gosh! Don't <laughs> flash zone. <laughs> you like the what? Gallagher him. Uh, I like the cutesy aesthetic. Like, yeah. The, the what is it? Robert. Heinlein, Heinlein, Heinlein. I don't know how to pronounce him. The Starship Trooper, oh yeah, fascist writer guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, like some, that 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 like moody, broody thing doesn't always work for me. Uh, yeah, and I I feel like I have seen lots of strategy games that are in this genre or air, I guess not genre, but like fight space aliens theme yeah uh and they're like 3d and grungy i mean i i like starcraft but honestly like that yeah. is not super appealing to me in visual style where this feels like a thing that i can live in for a while and feel okay you know soaking two or three hours into this head again yeah absolutely and, I, and obviously what's also cool is that this could probably run on just about any computer on the planet let alone other devices i know they're planning for a steam launch they haven't announced other platforms yet but I think it's pretty it obvious. Like, iPhone. Switch yeah. would be amazing. iPhone would be amazing. Obviously, I, uh, FTL was a big hit on iPhone, so I would not be surprised if it came there. Uh, as I F around and probably lose this map, you can see one of my guy dies. Anyway, um, this is Into the Breach. Um, still no release date yet, uh, but as you can see, it's pretty well polished. Um, so it might come soon or it might come a year from now. It's sort of hard to tell. Uh, I think it's going to come pretty soon, would be my guess. Maybe uh, or Q1 of next year. But uh, I would definitely be pumped about it if you dug FTL and you're looking for some more variety. Into the Breach is, is pretty freaking awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye!